once more. Many onlookers in North America will say that it's a two-team region. However, G2 has a case to say they stand alone. Genji was able to beat G2 in Swiss, but can they take them down on the grand final stage? We are about to find out. And when you face the best, you play your best. There is no fear. There is only determination. It is time to lock in. And Genji, like you said, defeated them once in Swiss. But can they do it again when it matters? Now we're in the grand final. Second time they meet. Will Genji rewrite the script? Genji, this would be massive for them going into the major. Finally taking down grand uh grand finals victory they've gotten close before but it was g2 that stood in their way and it's g2 who stands there again nice early pressure here g2 coming off a hot victory over tsm apparently jack now going to try to get something going but beast mode he gave him so much pain in the first grand finals with his quick challenges and you're already seeing that from beast mode yeah, if you're Gen G watching how the TSM match went, when uh, the desk mentioned over four goals a game against the number one defense in the region of TSM, Ooh. G2 are in perfect form and Chronic missing that opportunity got pushed out of the way. Here's retaliation from Daniel, but you can't let Daniel with all that space and time and Chronic <laughs> with a close call right back at them. Things looking a little bit sloppy on the goal line there, Gen G having some good scoring chances. Daniel going for a backward pass to beast mode, and that also hits off the backboard. Some heavy blows traded. You can tell both teams staggering a bit, but they're still on their feet despite taking those blows. So everyone is warmed up from their semifinal matches. Both had incredible showings. Coming out on top in the end, even when pressure was on them, when their backs were against the wall, whether it was against TS, less against TSM, but more when OG made Genji sweat. Now, going up against G2, and you already had some lessons on how this went in the Swiss. And Daniel was the guy to shut down, and Genji had figured that out, and they're keeping a close eye on him. G2 picking up the pace now. Chronic gonna try to air dribble this out. Does get a flip, it does use it to get by, and first killer will lob towards net, trying to milk that boost out. First killer getting a bump and also a touch on Atomic. Now a race to the ball. Chronic has Abjack on the back wall. The pass back down. There is the team play and the ball movement from Gen G. And that was what's most deadly about Gen G when they start connecting on those passes. And what a setup from Jack off the wall. And to tuck that perfectly placed in the bottom left. You're gonna have to pull out all the stops to shake up G2 and to keep those cracks in the armor that Gen G established in the Swiss. G2 looked a lot more human, a lot more beatable, but a chance for Beast Mode. No, Daniel steps up and there's a tie. It's overpower Gen G here. The low 50 from Daniel, the start of that success. Such a good 50. And then Daniel there to clean things up. Daniel. He, he is just so calm under pressure. Whether he wants to go for a fake or a low 50, it always seems like he's a step ahead of whoever he's trying to beat. Oh, and first killer, a shot there towards Daniel. Good save. As Jack pushes Atomic out of the way, attempting to clear. Now the play continues. Jack and Chronic connect, double commit out of G2, but Atomic first on the rebound. But the midfield commanded by Gen G. And the offense continues, another double commit from G2, but the first on it is Chronic versus Daniel. And the Gen G pressure is building up. Jack with the fake to first killer with a shot, saved again by G2. G2, you saw Atomic on zero boost, has a couple small pads, but Gen G, despite giving up that goal, have looked a little bit better than G2 so far. We saw multiple double commits from G2, which caused that boost deficiency. Now Genji trying to get back on the attack. Apparently Jack with the ball. Goes for an air dribble. Gets the bump on Daniel as well, but Beast Mode is there to support. Still a 1-1 game with almost 90 seconds left, but here comes Atomic right into the net. But now tucks it to the side, wants a better quality shot, and Daniel throws another one down. All these down low shots being saved by Gen G. Now space for Gen G to move downfield. Jack will do so on the left and runs into first killer, which is awkward there. And G2 gonna see if they can punish. 
RPG2. We did have that low 50 that led to the goal, but can they bring some of those team plays or even a solo play beast mode? You know, he's got plenty of those in his back pocket. Last minute of play. It's going to be a long final. And G2 know they have to peak here and now. And Chronic let loose. Defense stepping up. Chronic and Jack ready on the right side where Beast Mode will land. How will this 50 shake up? It's Beast Mode that breaks through. Atomic with the pinch towards the blue end. But not a lot of presence from G2 on this ball. Now Atomic behind on the play. Daniel slowing it down. Chronic against Atomic. Good win from Atomic. Now setting up Daniel for the counterattack. But stop after stop, it's been difficult to develop. Yeah, Daniel's midfield presence certainly being felt, even on that last play, getting that little touch, making sure Genji couldn't keep them locked in their own half. Right now poised for overtime, but Genji's having a good attack late. Jack keeping up with this ball and turns on it. Daniel steals corner. Jack against Atomic, a stop there. And the 50 stifles, we go to overtime for game one. Genji had such a good start, a quality goal, that backward pass from apparently Jack. Now first killer gets a flip reset, but Atomic hits it down and there was a miss. Can Daniel get around it? Pinch pass to the middle and apparently Jack there to close the window. Jack, what a great win. That was gonna be dire. That could have been the G2 overtime. Beast mode having the pass, it's off the cross. Chronic saves the moment and Chronic gets the demo. G2 off their backs for now, beast mode. Well, we'll keep them locked in. G2 still harassing, but as they step up, they're getting demoed. Genji are doing everything they can to break out of this blue half. This midfield, so difficult to traverse, but Daniel just lobbing it towards the net, forces Jack to make the save. And Genji are doing everything they can with passes to get out, and Daniel to Atomic, it's a dangerous ball. So apparently Jack trying to get that little tip of beast mode doing what he does best, keeping that ball in, being that first man who keeps the attack ongoing. Daniel now trying to dribble, seeing what the defense gives him, a team bump, but still Chronic is able to get it out of his half. And apparently Jack going for this corner double. What? He feeds it to first killer. Apparently Jack was the catalyst in game one. Jack, the setup guy from the bottom of his car and even with G2 home. It's Gen First goal and also defensively to get that ball out that led to that counterattack. So Gen G overall looking like the better team in game one. By a slim margin, by only one goal. It's a good win by Chronic. It's Gen G with more demos. First killer leaving it off to Jack, but a good contest from Beast Mode in the midfield to not let this go awry. And Daniel with the second touch and Genji send this back as Atomic now watches what first killer can do, who flicks it above. Jack with an important demo, but Beast Mode with a solid clear to kill that momentum from Genji. And a very important demo there. You saw Atomic get demoed. And that's when you need to buy that time. We're seeing demos left and right. This is a solo play opportunity for Beast Mode. Oh, almost gets the Zen shot. But it came up just short. I, I was a believer there for a moment. With the, how far committed G2 was to, an important touch came at the end to stop Genji from counterattacking. And they could not unbury themselves from that hole. G2 with the first goal. Atomic taking that space and beast mode is so confident to jump up there i mean he knew exactly where atomic was gonna put it only a minute gone by g2's pressure okay just getting demoed off a kickoff first killer pitch off the ceiling to jack threatening the double but it goes off the side had beast mode jumping had him shaking in his boots and g2 they know they have to clear this quick Apparently Jack trying to take that up. Will be contested here by Daniel. Lovely first touch. You can see first killer trying to play the 50. Another challenge coming in. First killer trying to threaten another really nice touch here from apparently Jack. Went for the buff, but Atomic saw it coming from the beginning, was able to navigate around it. G2 stay composed, but with these shots coming in out of Gen G. G2 had to start getting these demos. Remove Genji by force, but G2's presence, they couldn't retaliate in time in the demo. Daniel dives and saves a heroic play from G2. 
Now they hope to get more. How about some revenge? But it's still a 1-0 game. Chronic going for a pass here. You can see him and first killer not on the same page. Apparently Jack has to keep this ball in and does buy that time. And now Genji back in rotation. A nice double tap though from Atomic. Keeps first killer off the trail. Daniel bullies his way through, but just getting surrounded. Now Beast Mode with that challenge. Great that he got a pass there. And Jack, oh. that pillar in the back, he made the initial save. First killer there in time. Daniel with the rebound, wins the 50 to Beast Mode. Oh, the pop-up from Jack and Chronic was perfect. And the G2 relentless offense keeps going. Win after win on these 50s. Atomic oh. to Daniel, a couple of whiffs and being called off. And now Gen G breathe. Oh, but there's two going for G2. First killer can get a tip. And there's the dunk from Chronic. So despite all that pressure from G2, it melts away on a counterattack. Looked like even a team bump there. Throwing the back line into havoc for G2. Yeah, G2 just trying to avoid each other on the offense. They get reorganized on their end. And Gen G is so quick to respond. We're tied 1-1 in similar fashion as game one. First killer trying to pinch his way out. The clear is denied, and now the first killer's demoed. G2 really got to fight for possession here. See if they can make the most out of this opportunity. Atomic with a great pass and a bounce spark down, but not in. This Chronic and first killer scoop it out. Daniel challenged in front of the net. That's dangerous. Genji keep utilizing these demos to get G2 into a chaotic state. And Genji get out. Beautiful 50 from first killer. He's going to go for it again, but Daniel reads it around him. Daniel going for a bump. There's the demo. Daniel keeping possession as well. This will be a shot opportunity potentially for Atomic. Goes for the corner pass. But all of that effort from Daniel did work well to get G2 the space, but Fall will be all the way back here for apparently Jack. Good thing Jack was there in time. Chronic just grabbed the side boost and now back to fully can keep up with the play because G2 like to play fast and first killer, the cross field pass to get Gen G the lead. And look at that boom. It's sailing over the entire defense from G2. First killer puts it on target, just has to basically throw it on net with how powerful Chronic hit that. It even tapped the ceiling. Man, that was a boom from Chronic. We saw those flashes of brilliance from Gen G against that OG team from the semifinal. Last minute of play to see if G2 can catch up, which is uncharacteristic to even say this is the only team that will make them sweat this hard. Atomic, the pre jump off the ceiling, but this lands right into first killer's lap. Atomic goes to seal boost. Filler, first killer doesn't even need it as he's sailing across the orange half, but. Beast Mode and Friends look stable for now. Jack looks to contest the midfield. Goes forward. Just time killed from G2's opportunities. And they can't even keep it in the blue half. And you saw that pinch going all the way back. Beast Mode will boom it. Chronic. Oh, he actually missed the corner boost. This might be bad. Only had 11 boost and now is out of the play. Numbers advantage here for G2. Daniel on the dribble, contested still. The back pass, it is getting scrappy in there, in the trenches. Everyone trying to get this ball out. There's the fake first killer, tips it. Atomic with some time, takes it to the side ball. Second effort, he whiffs on it and it hits the ground, allowing Jen. But yeah, it's good to mention just how different it is to face in Swiss than here. You have no doubts you're gonna make playoffs if you're G2 or Gen G, regardless of how you match up against each other. But now there's prize money on the line and a lot of it. And that's gonna help pay for some nice meals in Copenhagen. So you wanna throw it all down and also get some nice revenge. G2 wanna say that was just a fluke. Oh, it, it just for the confidence as well, going into the major, your confidence is everything. We saw that from Gen G in the fall split last time. They had all the confidence going in and they actually won that major. So this is very big for Genji, who looked to repeat that success. We'll see if that timeout had an impactful effect on G2. How did first killer make that save? I thought that was in for sure. And G2 running on fumes, but Beast Mode just back up to full. He's still involved in the play. And Genji, they crack through that midfield and Chronic in the 1v1. 
Still keep the play alive. Now from the right, gets shoved out of the way there from Atomic. So Jack will try and synergize. Goes over to Chronic again. And first killer knows he can't go up high quite yet. Good challenge from Beast Mode. This lets Daniel move in. Daniel gonna try to dribble this out, but Chronic has been so keen on spotting those plays from Daniel and shutting him down. Good demo from Chen G. Now they take shots. Atomic forced to save. But the rebound that Jack was looking for, he gets demoed off the ball. Some fantastic defense from G2. And wanting to drop this off. Atomic, it's a nice attempt. Chronic removed. Ball back in the hands of Beast Mode. And it's just chaos with all these demos. And Chen G are just trying to make space. <laughs> and Chen G's defense is playing so well. That play from Dan. Oh. And I guess I oh. curse him right away. I was gonna say, I can't <laughs> believe they stopped that off the ceiling flip reset from Daniel. But then here, Chronic lets that get away from him. And then Atomic actually is, you know, sweeping the line, but everyone was lost. I think First Killer thought that apparently Jack was third man. And apparently Jack must have thought that First Killer was gonna be third man because they just left that net open. And usually someone's gonna be at least covering that option. This great initiative out of G2, and you just demo, demo, demo. It's just chaos, and you have to play perfectly in those situations as Beast Mode right into the hands of Gen G's defense who follow each other, maybe running into each other. Beast Mode with the recovery, and Chronic has to take it up high, and Jack retreats to watch what Beast Mode is doing just in case this ball were to land back in G2's favor. Now G2 have their backs against the wall but don't seem too flustered. Apparently Jack gonna try to turn now. Daniel gets a piece of it, but it actually might help Gen G here. Atomic forced to jump, and that lets Chronic snag the corner. So Gen G will have some boost to make this play. There is a demo, but Atomic had to jump and bail out. That's precious boost wasted. First killer, if he gets that pass in field, Chronic was ready for the pass. G2 though, holding on just enough. Beast mode will get by that first line of defense. Low boost here for first killer to work with. Daniel can't carve through. Now Jack with an important demo on the beast mode to get G2 off of them. G2, I mean, every team has talked about it. When you face G2, they are suffocating and you need perfect team play to get past them and to even try and beat them. And Genji have proved that it's possible. But now this game three is a little bit more quiet. They haven't scored yet. G2 are only up by one though, and Daniel is first on the ball. Atomic is by his side open for the wall pinch, but Beast Mode is too far forward. But they still keep the play alive as Atomic's off the ceiling, and First Killer drops it right to the corner, and G2 keep trying to salvage the play. 90 seconds left, they need insurance, need everything you can get against Gen G. And it's been so awkward for Gen G, barely keeping their head above water. Finally breaking out of their half. It's been so long since they've had an attack. And now G2 trying to get through once more. Daniel is a tough player to play. He's so much misdirection and also raw mechanical ability. But now it's 1v1. Jack and Daniel. Jack pulls the trigger. <laughs> rebound the first killer. And he finishes the job. The Gen G passes are what you love to watch. They're so quick too, and it was a good initial attempt by Daniel to save, but with the momentum, the speed that Gen G had when they moved downfield, it was too much for G2 to handle. And now that lead is gone. One minute left, with Gen G having the potential to steal away game three and go to match point against one of the best of North America. What a win from first killer. Daniel's attention is summoned back and Beast Mode with just a touch to get this out of their end. But Jack to first killer, Beast Mode needs to break it up. He's bumped off the play, but his initial effort is good. Gen G keep trying their best. Atomic, oh my gosh! Atomic is a highlight machine! Can't believe it off the ceiling. A few touches crashing down back to Earth to give G2 back the lead with 32 seconds left. Atomic has his moment to be in the stars and kick off for Gen G. Jack with the demo. Chronic hunting down Daniel, but first killer couldn't get the setup he wanted. 
So Jack throws it up high, buying time for Gen G to get these passes going. First killer versus Atomic. Atomic beats. Daniel runs into Atomic. Jack has a second to think with the fake, and oh, the time was almost there. Ten seconds left. First killer. There's the demo. Yeah, beast mode. Chronic with the shot. It's open. Two two. There was no hesitation. The corner boost actually spawning perfectly in time for first killer to give him the boost to even get that demo so many things had to go right and first killer he made the play using every advantage and somehow genji tie that up daniel lobs it atomic not there first finally in overtime for the second time this series will genji go to match point will g2 resurrect their chances now it's a three on two after that demo off a of kickoff. And Peace Mode dancing against First Killer off the ceiling. Atomic and Chronic collide. But now Jack gets it out. And Daniel flipping the play on its head, dribbling above First Killer. Chronic in the net. So was Jack the Buff! Daniel! He's a hero! What a special play from Daniel! He half flips into an air dribble into a flip reset. I have never seen anything. Yes, G2 had leads, but Genji always had a response. Oh my gosh, I'm still just stunned. I am just stunned that, I mean, both the goals, Atomic's goal was amazing, but Daniel, to, to do that in a moment like that, amazing. Incredible stuff. Gotta respect it if you're Genji. Now Genji's defense assembles. Chronic uh, is not the best drop off. You saw Daniel lurking and hunting for his prey in beast mode. Now pinches it off to that defensive end. And Jack's first on the ball and he scores. And there's the response. The <laughs> crazy pinch all the way downfield. So much so it even bamboozles Daniel. And that's another big play from First Killer to be able to get that clear. Abjack happy to clean it up. This is so deja vu from Swiss. Well, I know this is not a best of five, but Shinji were up by two, and then G2 started coming back. They know how to adapt and overcome. This beast mode can't overcome Jack in that moment, and he's been the guy you gotta worry about. Tries to flick it above Daniel. Atomic with a great save. And you know that everyone from G2 needs to come back when Shinji start going for these crazy challenges that can turn the play. Shinji have been good at winning those at crucial moments. Now a free ball for G2, setting up Atomic. Jack getting a touch to it, gets the Chronic. But Atomic still fights for possession, but Beast Mode wasn't in position to do anything with it. Yeah, G trying to add to their lead. Beast Mode has to be careful here. Chronic waiting patiently, goes for the 50. Afjack also in support. Chronic will be able to keep this in. Plays patient, actually missed the mid boost. It spawned right as he left. However, we'll have that corner to work with. Back down to a great speed from Chronic. And he tried to beat Daniel, still might have a goal. That one off the post. And now it's a 1v1. It's actually a 2v1 on the other end. Abjack gets bumped. It's a hopeless situation for Gen G. And it leads to that goal for G2. And Jack just got demoed in the previous play. He comes back and says, what's up? Did I miss the party? And gets just gets smashed on by G2 in that moment. Not much you can do in the 1v2. We're tied 1-1 as usual that these two go back and forth multiple times throughout this split. Beast smoked to Daniel. It's a bouncer and Chronic was in between. Nonetheless, first killer maintains the speed, runs into two of G2, but a great touch, a second touch from Daniel. Try and get this out, but you know that Gen G are always looming and always making you second guess how you move around the field tie ball game again and it, this has been such an entertaining series that last game jaw dropping finish g2 still have more work to do trailing two to one gen g to be on match point after this and now have to defend once more lead blocker play almost resulting in another goal for g2 now apparently jack will leave this for chronic chronic testing the backboard but it's going to be a huge boom from beast mode downfield G2 were busy defending, and good thing they're still there because it's just down one side, the other side of the coast. 
Now Atomic off the ceiling, can't get a touch on first killer, so Gen G seem okay. Beast Mode's getting chased around. You see Gen G making space for each other. That's the type of selfless, synergistic team that can break apart G2 if they're not careful. But for now, we're still in a 1-1 game. Beast Mode trying to get through the back where Chronic is low. Tough boost situation here for Gen G. Amchak will just lob it downfield, try to buy some time here. Chronic now boosted up at the midfield, seeing what Daniel does with it. Beast Mode trying to 50. Does snag the corner as well. Nicely played from Beast Mode. Flip reset from Daniel. Daniel going for another solo play. You know he's got it in him. There's a double commit on the goal line. But apparently Jack will tip it up for first killer. My G2 pressure is getting scary. The first killer cut off before he could sail away with any smiles on his face. Now Beast Mode trying to do his impression on the other side, and it's stop after stop. It's both teams have only been able to register four shots each. That's how difficult it's been to get set up against just the two best teams this region has to offer. Chronic going for a pass. Beast Mode barely getting there in time. It's just going to stay on it. Chronic it's enforcing the issue. Beast Mode back down. There's a demo. Chronic. Sending it out to the middle. Nicely done, allows his teammates to respawn. First killer's jumping up for this. Probably just go for a 50, actually loses it there. This is gonna be dangerous for Chronic. Chronic decides to take the shot as third man. They did enough to have G G2 far enough back to where Chronic could make that play. So we approach now the final 30 seconds. We are still tied up. Oh, first killer coming in quick. Neutralized there at the corner. G2 assemble. Fighting back this time. Beast mode with the dribble. Atomic having to make space in front of the net. But Gen G hold the wall. And they hold the door as Chronic hopes to respond. The 50 drops down and a great catch from Atomic. First killer going in for more. And Jack can't break through against Beast mode. We may just enter another overtime. And so we do. All eyes on Daniel. See if he has another one of those ready to go <laughs> that shot truly incredible in overtime as well but gen g you're hungry to get on match point and prove that that swiss stage win was not a fluke Ooh. and this is a great chance up in the air jack actually hits it chronic also had jumped for it did get a piece of it now daniel in the air trying to go for it again and he shut down Wow, the fact that Gen G stopped that when they kind of double committed on that ball to, well, end overtime, you gotta make that risk and they salvage it. They don't, doesn't cost them anything. First 30 seconds into overtime has been already terrifying. And Daniel sends it downfield. And then it's sent right back. Daniel and Atomic gonna work together now against first killer who drops it. And this could be what sends Gen G to match point. Atomic swing it at it. And stop after stop. Chronic's gonna need some help. And Jack gonna shove Daniel around. So he's pushed off the play. And Atomic running out of boost. And this goes right into Gen G's hands. Not too shaken. But we'll see what Daniel can do. He doesn't have a lot of boost either. Such a battle for possession now. You can see at times just lobbing it in towards net, trying to waste that boost, trying to force a mistake out of the other team. Chronic is airborne. Will have a flip, uses it early. Atomic off the ceiling, first killer's there, looks for the corner, is gonna stay on the play, but Beast Mode beats it to it, hands, or ball back in the hands of Gen G. Now going off the ceiling, trying to get the block. This is great pressure wow. from Gen G, might be a chance. Flip reset from first killer, drops it down to apparently Jack. And Gen G win it in OT. Match point for Gen G, but G2 were boost starved that whole time, running on fumes. Even when to show the entire world what North America's best is made out of. Now we see if Gen G can finish the job. They were able to in Swiss. Can they do it here on the big stage? NG match point. Be the first time they could win a regional this split. And Atomic, it's already a good start for G2. They gotta keep up that pressure they've been known for. And Daniel trying to center this out for Atomic. 
It's a good shove by Chronic and first killer, but this pinches out and Jack always makes sure that he's that solid pillar in front of the net that will break up the pass from G2. And Chronic and first killer gonna try again, but Chronic's being bullied by three G2 members. Atomic thinking somebody's on him. Apparently Jack does get a bump on Daniel. And now the demo. Apparently Jack not letting Daniel get away. Now Chronic off the ceiling. Looking for a backward play. It leaks through. Fortunately for G2, Daniel there to stop it, but the attack is still going. Still is. Genji cycling is so good, and everyone's involved in the success, and Chronic finds the back of the net. Chronic lurking. We've seen him be the last back, and he's not been afraid to, as third man, dive in and take that shot. And that time, it gets Genji the lead, and it might be the only goal they need. We'll see how things pan out. Now G2 is gonna have to respond. Gen G already broken up in the midfield, but Gen G always know how to find the result of these 50s and to take it inch by inch to advance these this offense from a mile, but G2 looking like they're just stable. They're keeping themselves in their own end, just trying to stop Jack. Daniel's successful at doing so, but transitioning into an offense, G2 is struggling a bit. Oh. And now it's a fix, and the pace oh. changed in front of the net. Oh, that was dire. Oh, the first killer landed on his teammate, and oh, it's a pound off the post. I thought it was going to be a goal for G2. Still might be. This is off the ceiling. It's awkward for Chronic. A double commit, a demo on the last back. This game is pure chaos. It is, and that demo, Genji bring the momentum jacks up the wall and just kind of changes that pace against Atomic's challenge. Now G2's backs are against the wall. Can't afford another goal with how difficult it's been for G2 to be executing on these offenses. And first killer and friends of Gen G have been winning these 50s and Jack at the wrong angle, hoping to get that pass. Chronic tries again, Atomic and Daniel are all mixed up and Gen G's lead increases. What G2? They are really in trouble now. Looks like they ran into one another in the corner, could never recover. And Chronic has been so consistent all series long, gets the feed to Jack, and Jack will easily put that one away. G2 have to stay organized on that defense, but I know with the pace of play that is going on right now, it can't fault them for that. Chronic having to dance off the ceiling. G2's reads are good. Now Atomic and Beast Mode work together to move downfield. And Atomic bounces it out to Dan, who was forced to make a backflip. Didn't think it was possible with Gen G's presence. It's tough to cut through Gen G. They are on one today. Gen G, they are feeling it. Less than half the game left to go. The defense not giving an inch. Trying to take that up the back corner. You can see First Killer already going off the ceiling, which he has done quite a few times. We even saw him do it in the last series. Not afraid to drive up there and have those bold challenges. Strong clear from First Killer intended for Chronic on the long pass, but G2 first in the air and first on the ball. As Daniel and Atomic can't pave the way. Beast mode bulldozes through the net and keeps G2 within one. <laughs> Beast mode. He just forces this through. He sees Chronic going high, decides to go low and 50 it. Lovely perception there from Beast Mode, taking what Chronic was given to him. G2 connecting there on that offense. Under too many cooks in the kitchen. Started getting around each other, and now Gen G making some saves, but the ball not firmly in their hands as Atomic. Just sends us right to Chronic, even though Beast Mode was below. Now Daniel has some space, and First Killer gets to the crossbar in time. And Chronic scoops it up with Beast Mode gone. Genji has some time to think, but Daniel from the midfield is such a nuisance, and he takes the shot. First Killer saves, and you're not even over yet. As the pinch almost came out to Daniel again, and it's up in the air. Genji have had to pull up all the stops. Crazy read from Beast Mode as well, Chronic. Wanted to go for the double, but Beast Mode somehow read what he was going to do. Is that net open? Oh, it's just wide. Beast Mode 
Wasn't going to be able to get back. Now on the counter, double commit from G2 offensively. Daniel all alone. 30 seconds until Gen G could rewrite the ending of this script to take the crown away from G2. And that confidence going into Worlds is everything. A big win from Jack. And he shoves Daniel out of the way. First killer pops up. Few touches off to the side. Atomic puts it away. This is the final countdown here for G2. If they cannot get this goal, it is over. Gen G are your qualifier three champions. They finally take down G2 in the grand finals.